Hi, I'm going to show you how to create a turkey in Google Drawing. You're going to start by clicking on uh, going to your drive and then clicking on the new button and then you're going to click down here where it says more, slide on over and you're going to click on Google Drawings. It should be the first one listed. You want to start, of course, by giving it a title so you can write your name um, and you can put uh, your name and then what it is, turkey. Um, okay, we're going to start by doing shapes. So you're going to click on the shape button right here and you're going to get a circle. Um, it'll, you'll see it looks like a little plus sign. You just click and a circle will appear. You can come up here to the color and change it to the color you think a turkey might be. There's a couple different choices down here. I think I'm going to use this one. Um, and then you're going to grab a corner. Make sure you're not grabbing right here in the middle, not these ones right here, but grab one of these four corners and um, then drag it to the size of the body that you want your turkey to have. So I want my turkey to be pretty big. I'm going to move him down here. I want to have room for his feet, but I want to have lots more room for feathers. Um, then I'm going to come back to shapes. I'm going to make his head. So I'm going to click on shapes and I'm going to drag it over. I'm going to use this shape right here. It kind of looks like a sideways teardrop. It says teardrop actually when I click on it. Um, so you're going to click on that, click the button. You'll get a little teardrop and look at that. It already made it brown since I had clicked on brown. If yours is not brown, you can change it to match. Now this is not exactly the direction I want it to face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to this little circle. When my arrow turns into that plus sign, I can click and then I'm going to hold it while I drag around. You see the point going around when the point is straight to the bottom. I'm going to let it go and I'm going to drag this. I'm going to put it right on top. Now this is kind of tiny for a head for how big I want my turkey to be. So I'm going to grab a corner. So here's my corner. I'm going to make it bigger. Let's see, that looks like a pretty nice sized head for my turkey's body. It seems like it matches. Now, I want to also make another part of the turkey. So um, I have this line right here. And um, right now, you can see I'm not clicked on it. And then when I click on it, it gets the blue box around it. So you need to make sure the blue box is around it. Then you're going to um, make a copy. So you can go edit, copy, edit, paste. Then you have another one. Now, before you move it, Instead, I want you to go like this. So it has the blue lines around it. Make sure it has the blue lines. You're going to go up to the word arrange at the top. You're going to click on arrange. And you're going to click on rotate. You're going to slide across and you're going to um, push the button that says flip vertically. So you're going to flip it vertically. This is going to add the bottom part of your turkey. So you're going to slide it down here. So the points are just overlapping just a tiny bit. And then we're going to make this uh, the head of the turkey um, in the front. So you can see that I have this part of the turkey is in the front. So I'm going to click on the head. I'm going to click Arrange, Order, and I'm going to click Bring to Front. If you click Bring to Front and it doesn't work, then click the other button. You can see right here when you click on, you have to be clicked on something. When you click on Arrange, Order, if Bring to Front doesn't work, then you can also click Bring Forward and that should work. Um, now, the other thing that I want to do is I don't want, I'm going to make my head a little tiny bit bigger. I want it to be a little bit bigger. It looked a little too small. That looks better. Now, I don't love this line right here that I see that's like coming down right here in black. I don't mind this part right here, but I don't like this part. So I'm going to click on the head of the turkey. Then I'm going to come up here. This is where it says border color. So we're getting this black line because there's a border color. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to click on the pencil up here where it says border color and then I'm going to click this word that says transparent. See right now it's clicked on black. I'm going to click transparent and then look at that. It goes away and then it looks more like it's all one thing. Okay, now um, I'm going to take this bottom one. I'm going to move it up a little bit. It's a little bit low. Let's see. That looks a little bit better. I really want these lines to connect to the outside of the turkey the best I can. So I'm going to make mine a little bit larger. And then I'm going to slide it up just a little bit more. I'm going to make it a little bit larger. There we go. So now do you see how the lines actually connect all the way to the outside of the turkey? So it looks like it fits better. So in the beginning, mine was a little bit low and it didn't fit. So if you want to um, make yours a little bit bigger so that line is touching the outside of this circle. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and make the face. So I'm going to click on shape. 
and I'm going to click on the triangle. I have a triangle. I want to make it a yellow color. I think I'm going to use this like golden color here. Now, I don't want the beak facing this way, so you already know how to do that. We're going to flip it vertically. So I'm going to come up to the word arrange, rotate, slide across, flip vertically. This is a little big for his face, so I'm going to grab a corner and make it smaller. Then I'm going to make sure I have my move it arrow, which is all four arrows. I'm going to click and I can drag it and see if it fits on his face. Still looks a little bit big, so make it a little bit smaller. Awesome. Now I'm going to put the eyes on. So I'm going to go to shapes. I'm going to get a circle. Click. That's a really big eyeball, so I'm going to make that a lot smaller. Let's see. Trying to make sure you can see how it has that great outline. Make sure it's still the shape you want. Make sure it's not like, I don't want an eyeball like that. So click it squished. And then you're going to fill it in black. Then you're going to want to come up here and say edit, copy edit paste now you have two eyeballs you need to make sure that you have the move it arrow so right now I do not have the move it arrow and now I do it has all four so I can click and I can drag it and put it on my turkey's face I get the other one click and drag you see these red lines that pop up the red lines are telling you that they're in line with each other so you can see that the red line goes right through both eyeballs straight in the center so then you'll know that they are aligned and I noticed there was also a red line that went right down here by the side of the beak. So if I want this one to also be in line, I need to maybe move it over. Oh, look, it actually is in line, so that's perfect. So my turkey's ready. Actually, I'm going to move my beak over just a little bit. I want it to be like up here. Okay. Now you're going to make a waddle. So we're going to be using the line tool. Hopefully you've watched some of my videos before on using the line tool because it can be quite tricky. Um, you're going to click on the line tool. You're going to click on the little arrow here, right here. And we're going to use the curvy line tool. Now you see it turned into the little plus sign, don't do anything yet. You're going to come over here to make your waddle. So I'm going to make my waddle. I'm going to try to connect it to the beak. It's okay. You can even make your waddle over here and then move it on. So I'm going to do one click and then I'm going to move a little bit. You see, look at how it's like sticks. And right now it can it won't let go. So it won't let go until you click again. So it's better to do lots of clicks um, to make lots of curves. So I'm going to do a little line. I'm going to click. Then I'm going to go over here, I'm going to click, then I'm going to, oh, i got to start again. Let me push the back arrow. I must have clicked too much. Okay, let's try one more time. So click, click, and I'm going to make it, see how I'm going to drag it, because I want it to be curvy, so I'm going back and forth. I'm going to make it come back up. Oh, what happened? Let's try one more time. Again, curvy line tool can be very tricky. All right, um, at the very end, you wanna make sure you connect it. That way you have a color in here that you can fill in. You can see when the last time I did it, um, because I didn't end with both points touching each other, like the beginning and the end point, then I didn't have anything to fill in. And we wanna fill this in a color. I'm gonna use red. Now, right now, I can see that I still have that plus sign right here, and I don't want that. So I need to go back up here and click the arrow so that I can start working on my picture. If I keep that um, plus sign, all it's gonna keep doing is giving me that line tool, and I don't want that line tool anymore, so I need to make sure I come up here and I click the arrow so it goes away. Um, now I have my waddle, and I can maybe drag it up a little bit higher so it looks right. There we go. And now I'm ready to make my legs. So I'm gonna come get my shape. I'm gonna get a rectangle, which is the first one. I'm gonna make a little leg, and I'm gonna make it um, that yellow golden color. I'm going to drag it down here see if it fits. Let's see if that looks right. Now, right now, it's in front of the um, turkey, so I'm going to have to move it to the back. But first, I'm going to make a copy, so I have two legs. Edit, copy, edit, paste. Now I have two legs. I'm going to put them here, right next to each other. Look, I'm using that red line to help me line them up so they're even. And then I'm going to, on each one, I need to arrange it and put it in the back. So I'm going to put arrange, order, send to back. Click on the other one, arrange, order, send to back. And remember, you can also click send backward if yours is not working. Now we're going to make his feet. We're going to use that curvy line tool again to make his feet. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to do a click. All right. Looks like I didn't quite make it all the way around. So let me try on this foot. So that I won't be able to fill in a color there. So let's see if I can do it better on this one. Oh, 
Oh, that one's better. See, that one filled in. Okay, so I'm going to come up here. I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to click on the arrow. I'm going to click on this one, and I'm just going to delete it. I'm pushing the delete button on my keyboard to get rid of it. Then for this foot, I'm going to click on it, and then I'm going to click on a color. And then I can do edit, copy, edit, paste. Now I have another foot, so I can bring it over here. But now it kind of looks funny because it looks like both his feet are facing the same direction. So what I can do is I can click on this one, and I can do arrange. I can click on rotate, and this time I click flip horizontally, and it's just going to flip it over so it's facing the other way. So it looks like you have like a right foot and a left foot. And then you can line them up where you want them. Okay, and then now we're ready for feathers. So for the feathers, I'm going to go up to shapes, and I decided to use this um, shape right here. You can use um, you can use something else if you want to. This is just the one I did. So it says flow chart delay. So that's what I'm going to click on. And I just clicked and made um, made one. And then this is really tiny. So what I want to do is I want to make a feather. So right now my feather is sideways, but I'm going to drag it out so it looks like a nice little tall feather. And then I need to um, get the ball and I need to turn it. I'm going to rotate it very slowly. You can see it with the gray lines. So you can see exactly where you want it to be. Okay, so here's my feather. Now, I don't want my feathers straight up and down. Um, I mean, some may be right in the back of the turkey. So if I think about my turkey, I'm like, I want his feathers to start out here. So I'm going to make it a little bit more. Okay, let's see. I'm going to put it down here. I think I still want it to tilt a little bit more. Okay, so now you want them to overlap a little so you see how the blue is over the um, brown part of the turkey. But I'm going to come up here and I'm going to say arrange order. And I'm going to send it to the back. Um, and now I can work on his feathers. Now, this feather is kind of skinny, so if I want to make it a little bit wider, I can kind of drag it out. You see how the gray lines are making it bigger, and I can also make it a little taller. Um, now, I want to use some fall colors for his feathers. So I might start with, um, I could use an orange or a red, and maybe I can do a pattern as I go around. Um, the other thing I want to add is just a little line to give it depth. So I'm going to come up to the line tool, but this time I'm just going to use the first one that says line. And um, you can see there's like a little dot will show up. Mine's purple. I'm going to click there. And then I can take this one at the bottom and I can drag it and I'm going to put it. I'm not sure I want it to connect right there on the turkey. Um, you can move it wherever you want it to be um, or you can let it go right there. And so it's going to be a little line down the turkey. Um, it doesn't have to fully connect. It can just be like partway between two. Um, then we want to make a copy of this. We don't want to have to make every single feather. So you can click and then you're going to hold down the shift button that's on your keyboard. So hold down shift and then I'm also going to click on the line. You see how the feather is highlighted and the line is highlighted. Now I can go edit, copy, edit, paste. And look at that. I have another feather. Now I can drag this over just a little bit. A little bit more. Now, I don't want the feather at the exact same angle, so I'm also going to have to rotate it. So I'm going to grab the little ball that's up here. I'm going to rotate it just a little bit. Let's see if that looks good. And then I'm going to put it up here. And then I'm going to arrange order, send to back. There it goes. Okay. Now, I already have one copied, so all I have to do is go edit cop or uh, sorry edit paste and it makes another one so now I can drag this over here okay it's gonna be about here now I'm gonna get the ball and I'm gonna rotate it let's see if they did it enough this one has to be a little bit more let's see I'm gonna put it up here I'm gonna put it in the back arrange order send to back and if you can't quite see it there's a little bar right here because I can't quite see the top I can drag this up and then I can see it. Now, I'm noticing right here that this is off the page, which means if I go to print this turkey, that's not going to show up. It's going to get cut off. I need to make sure that everything fits on this page. So I'm going to have to move this down a little bit, which means I'm also going to have to come over here probably and make these a little bit shorter too. Otherwise, these ones look too tall. When you go to move it, make sure you hold down the shift button and you highlight both pieces so that you see the blue line down the center and around before you go to move it. Otherwise, only a piece of it will move. That looks better. So I'm going to click on it. If you do that, if you do this and you forget to do it and you start moving it, look what happens to your line. Ah! All you have to do is come up here, click the undo button, and then you can go, okay, hold down shift, click. Okay, now I can move it. I'm going to move it down just a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to do um, edit paste again. 
Now for this one, what if I just do that new tool we learned about arrange, rotate, what if I just flip it horizontally? Look at that, now I can drag it to this side and it should be about the same size. Now look at, make sure you're using that line, um, that red line to kind of match it up. It'll help you make sure that it is um, lined up with the feather on the other side. And then I can do a range order, send to back. Okay, now I can copy this one. Remember, I gotta do the whole thing. So all right now I have is the blue line, so I'm gonna hold the shift button. I'm gonna get the outside too. I'm gonna go edit, copy, edit, paste. And then we're gonna come over here, go arrange, rotate, flip horizontally. And I can drag it over, just put it right, that looks pretty good. And then I'm going to arrange order, send to back. Okay, I got one more, so let's do this one. Oh, I only have the line. I gotta make sure I hold down the shift, get the whole thing. And I'm gonna go edit, copy, edit, paste. Okay, and then I'm going to go to arrange, rotate, flip horizontally. I'm gonna put it up here. That looks about right. And then I'm going to do arrange order, send to back. Oh, and I have just the tip is off of the paper, so I'm gonna slide it down just a little bit. Okay, there we go. Now I can keep making more feathers because it looks like I probably could use them right here and right here. If I want to, I can also, like I said, make a pattern. So I can do red. And then I can come over here and maybe this one is yellow and I can keep some orange in between. Um, so maybe I wanna add um, an orange one over, or a red one um, on this side and then maybe a yellow one on the other side. So I can also do it this way and then I tilt it like this. This one's a little bit harder to see though so you just gotta do just a little bit at a time and then go, wait, that's not enough, a little bit more and then we can slide it in. Let's see, that looks a little, pretty good. Okay, and then maybe I can do the copy and paste with this one. So we'll do edit, copy, edit, paste, and then we'll do arrange, rotate, flip horizontally, and then I can slide it on this side. So it helps you build it without having to build every single one by using that um, flip horizontally or that flip vertically tool. Um, so I'm just going to send this to the back and I'm also going to, I decided I was going to make this one yellow or I could keep it red. Maybe I just want to do, um, do those colors, but I think I'm going to do yellow. Let's see. I think I used that one. There we go. So there is my turkey. If you want to, you can also do some fun things. You can add um, a hat to him. You can add a little sign that says gobble gobble, um, or you can just leave your turkey as is. So um, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Have fun creating your own turkey and um, don't be afraid to be creative and add your own little touches to the turkey. That's it. Have fun.